Hi, my name is Lisa Shen, and I am a product manager in Google Cloud. In this video, we'll take a look at how to set up Ansel's config management to manage multiple clusters. We'll set up ACM to manage three Ansel's clusters, a GKE cluster running on GCP, an AWS EKS cluster running as an Ansel's attached cluster, and an Ansel's GKE cluster running on AWS. Ansos provides a unified platform for managing Kubernetes clusters across different clouds at on-prem. These clusters can be running inside of virtual machines and instances as well as on bare metal. Ansos is a 100% software product that extends Google Cloud services and the best engineering practices to your environments so you can modernize applications faster and establish operational consistency across them. Ansos config management is a key component of Ansos to help you achieve governance at scale. It is a multi-cluster configuration manager that helps you to have consistent policies and configurations across the clusters. And ACM uses a central Git repo to manage access control policies, resource quotas, and namespaces. It is declarative and continuous. Once you declare a new desired state, ACM continuously checks for changes that go against the state. It uses YAML or JSON, so no, re no rewriting of any existing Kubernetes configs. It's just simple to migrate. In this demo, we'll show you how to install and configure ACM's config sync and a policy controller across Ansel's clusters. First, let's navigate to the Ansos page via the Google Cloud Console. I have set up three clusters as you can see here. One is Ansos GKE cluster running on AWS. Second is an AWS EKS cluster registered to Ansos as an Ansos attached cluster. And the third cluster is a GKE cluster running on GCP. Let's switch to the terminal to take a look at the namespace we have for each cluster. We'll use a command called kubectx. And kubectx shows we have three clusters as we have seen via the GCP console earlier. For example, in the AWS EKS cluster that is registered as Ansos attached cluster, we have the default namespace along with a few Kubernetes system namespaces as you can see here. Now, Let's go to the GKE cluster and then list the namespaces there. Let's switch the context first and then use the kubectl get namespace. And you can see we have similar namespaces there too. Later on in the video, you will see how we can use ACM to create a new namespace automatically via the config sync. Now let's come back to the Ansos dashboard. In order to install Ansos config management, you must have the GKE Hub Admin IAM role. Since I'm the owner of my project, I already have this permission. Now let's navigate to the Ansos config management page. As you can see here, it states that three clusters in this project have not set up for config management. So let's click the setup button. And there we have our three clusters. One running on GCP, the other two running on AWS. You can set up ACM for one or all of them. So let's select all three clusters. Policy controller and config sync are two key components of the ACM. With policy controller, you can enforce customizable policies for your clusters. With config sync, you can consistently configure your clusters. When you use these two components together, you can continuously enforce your policies. Now on the policy controller page, let's keep the enable policy controller option checked and then click next. On the config sync page, we'll keep enable config sync checked. And then under the repo, let's click custom. And then we're going to enter the following link to a Google Cloud Sample ACM repo. 
and we're going to click on show advanced setting in the configuration directory we're going to enter the quick start slash config dash sync and this directory contains the example constraints and the configs that we use in the following sections and we're going to keep the rest of the fields set to their default values and then click the complete button it takes a few minutes for config sync and the policy controller to install on our ansos clusters Now let's check the status of Enso's config management dashboard. We can see all three clusters are now showing synced in the config sync status column and installed in the policy controller status column. Let's take a quick look at the sample ACM config codes we're using in this demo. I have the sample repo open in my Cloud Shell editor. A config is a Kubernetes configuration declaration written in YAML or JSON and that is stored in the Git repo. After we have finished installing Enso's config management, Config Sync continuously applies these configs to our clusters. Remember, we have set a configuration directory path previously. It points to a folder called Config Sync under the Quick Start directory. These are the config that config sync is syncing to our clusters. Let's take a look at the hello.yaml file in the namespace directory. This simple file is to create a namespace called hello in our clusters. And this namespace resource should have been created since our clusters are synced to the directory. Now let's verify that namespace called hello is created. And we can do that via the terminal. First, let's see the current Kubernetes context we are in. The kubectx shows we are in the GKE cluster. Let's list the namespaces that the config sync is managing in our GKE cluster. No surprise that the hello namespace has showed up. And we can switch the context to another cluster say the AWS EKS cluster as the ANSOS attached cluster. And we can see the same hello namespace is created in this EKS cluster by the ACM. And if, if we switch to the ANSOS GKE cluster on AWS, we're going to see the same hello namespace is created. This means that config sync is watching the git repo and continuously syncing the configs to our cluster. And let's do another experiment to prove this. What will happen if I accidentally delete this hello namespace? The ACM config sync continuously monitors all the config drift and will correct any mismatched state based on the single source of truth in the git repo. As you can see, the namespace that was deleted is now recreated again automatically. Now let's explore the policy controller a bit. Policy controller enforces your cluster's compliance with the policies using objects called constraints. Constraints look inside incoming Kubernetes configurations to check specific fields. We can view the constraint YAML file by opening it in the Cloud Shell editor. The same config sync repo has a constraint of type Kubernetes no external services. And this constraint type comes with the policy controller's default constraint template library. And it blocks public facing services in the ANSOS clusters. Let's verify that the policy constraints have been set up in our three clusters via the terminal. We're in the AWS EKS cluster as the ANSOS attached cluster, as we can see by the kubectx command. And the kubectl get constraint COI will show if we have the policy set up correctly via the ACM in this cluster. It's going to take a few seconds for the result to come up. And here we are. Let's also check if the constraint is set up correctly in another cluster. Let's say we're going to pick the ANSOS GKE cluster on AWS. And we'll get a constraint where the kubectl get constraint.
Now that we have the right constraints set up, we can attempt to violate the policy by manually applying an external Kubernetes service of type load balancer. Let's do that. Since this is against our predefined ACM policy, we'll get an error when we try to apply this service YAML file, as you can see here. Let's take a look at our service YAML file by switching to the editor window. The file is to create an external load balancer in our cluster. By using the policy controller and the config sync together, the policies are consistently enforced to the clusters. Config sync sync the Kubernetes no external services policy to the clusters, and the policy controller enforces the policy in the clusters, blocking users from applying a violating resource. And that is why we observe the error message. You can check out the step-by-step -step guide of setting up Enso's config management in your cluster in our website here. To learn more about how to manage the multi-cluster configuration and the policy at scale, please visit Enso's config management website. Thank you for watching the video.